Hello. Today we're working on the third activity in the algorithms chapter called Conquering a Maze. And Conquering a Maze, the goal is to use the right hand rule again to navigate through a maze. Okay, so that algorithm we've been developing in the last two activities uh, should work for working our way through even more complicated uh, patterns of tiles here as long as we keep following the rule that says if we hold out our right hand and as long as we're uh, blocked to our right we can keep moving forward but if we're not blocked to our right then we need to move back to the right so turn right and move forward to get back to the wall or the cliff uh, but if we're blocked both to the right and to the front then we just want to do a turn left Okay, now uh, this maze here, we're going to have to kind of keep meandering around the pattern of tiles. And let's not worry too much about here because there's not many repeating patterns here. Let's worry more about the right hand rule and when do we stop. Okay, remember in the last activities we stopped when we reached the closed switch. But in this activity, there's only one thing we need to do and that's collect a single gem. So we'll stop when we can find this gem and collect it, okay? So if, as long as we're not on that gem, we want to keep doing the right-hand rule, okay? So um, we could bring over our code that we had in the last two uh, activities and start from that point. Um, but I want to use this uh, um, opportunity here, and, and I think if you feel up to it, you should too. To try to write this over again from scratch. Uh, it's a good good practice for us. So I'm going to hit the start coding on this page button and I'm going to try to reproduce what we did before uh, with some slight modifications and the one modification is that instead of stopping when we're on a closed switch this time we're going to stop when we're on a gem and we're going to collect it. Okay so let's enter some code here that says we want to keep repeating the right hand rule as long as we're not on a gem. So we'll say while we're not is on a gem, we want to keep repeating the right hand rule, which we called before something like navigate around wall or something like that. Okay navigate around wall and that's this idea of keeping uh, sorry this shouldn't be like this it should be like this navigate around wall and that's this idea of keeping our uh, right hand up against a wall or a cliff and uh, moving forward as long as that's the case so let's uh, oh well, before we do that let's talk about what should we do when we are on a gem so when we are on a gem we know that at the end of this while loop if we get ever get out of this while loop will be on a gem so we could do something like say go ahead and collect a gem okay all right now uh, navigate around the wall we need a function called navigate around wall which is going to implement this right hand rule and the right hand rule if you remember was something like if we can, if we're blocked to the right, if our right hand is against something, if is blocked to the right, then we want to move forward. But if our right hand ever comes away from the wall, then we want to work our way back to the wall by turning to the right and doing a move forward. Okay, so that's the basic idea of a right hand rule. Then later we decided that if we uh, were blocked to the right and we uh, were trying to move forward we encountered a uh, an obstacle in front of us so that we're blocked to the front of us here so that would be in here we said if we're is blocked to the front we can't move forward okay we can't move forward if we're blocked to the front. So we need to kind of get out of the jam that we're in, okay? So uh, if we're um, uh, blocked to the front, then we want to turn left, okay? And I actually see one of these right up ahead of us here where we're 
blocked to the right and we're blocked to the front. So let's actually go remove this in here and let's run our code as it is right now just to show you what happens when we're blocked to the front and we're blocked to the right, uh, right straight ahead of us here. I'll run the code to show you. Uh, whoops. Yep, I have a spelling error here. This should be navigate around wall. Okay, there we go. That fixed the error. That was a syntax error, an error in our spelling error. So here he's moving forward because his right hand is blocked. And yeah, he keeps trying to do that even though he's blocked to the front. So we need an if statement in here before always moving forward. Before always moving forward, we want to check first to see if we're blocked. And if we're blocked, then here you can see we want to turn to the left. That will get us out of the jam that we're in right now. So if is blocked to the front, and in this case, if we're blocked right in here we're to the front, we're also blocked to the right because the only way we can get inside this uh, if statement is if we're blocked to the right. That means we're both blocked to the right and blocked to the front here. Then we want to turn left, turn left to face out of the jam here. Uh, otherwise, else, we're going to move forward. Okay, let's look at this again now. Navigate around the wall. That function says as long as we're blocked to the right, then we probably either want to move forward if we're not blocked to the front, and if we are blocked to the front, we just want to turn left. Okay. If we're not blocked to the right, our hand is not up against a wall or a cliff on our right, then we want to quickly move back to the wall by turning right and moving forward. Okay, So that's what we're going to keep doing over and over and over again as long as we're not on a gem. So let's give this a try here. So as long as we're not on a gem, we're going to make sure we have something to our right, but if we're blocked to the front, we're going to turn left. So there we're blocked to the front, we turn left. Here we're blocked to the front, we'll turn left. We're going to keep going with something on our right. And there we are blocked to the front. We'll keep moving. We've got something on our right, a cliff, but here we're blocked to the front. Okay. Ooh, this is going to be interesting here. We went right past where we wanted to turn, but here we'll turn left. Now what's going to happen in this right here? Okay, we still are uh, blocked to the right. He turned around. We're blocked to the right. Aha! Good. He's keeping that uh, right hand uh, against the wall or blocked. Turn to the left. Blocked. Turn to the right. We're on a gem finally, and we could collect it. Wow, very nice. All right, so really showing you the power of a very simple algorithm. And this isn't an algorithm where we identified patterns here. This is an algorithm where we took a rule that said, you know, as long as we are next to a wall, as long as we keep following that wall uh, with our right hand on it, we can work our way around all these different walls and eventually when we end up on the gem we'll stop our while loop and collect it. So this is our main program here. Amazingly simple, isn't it? Four lines of code lets us solve this maze and get to the gem. Uh, really no matter how complex this maze is, this algorithm should work uh, for the most part just fine. Okay. All right, now, uh, what, what I did here, good practice for you, okay? Wipe out your code if you have trouble making it on your own. Uh, wipe out your code, look what I did. Take some time off and just think about the ideas. The big ideas are, as long as we're not on a gem, we want to do the right-hand rule. If we are on a gem, we're just going to collect that gem. Now, what does it mean to do the right-hand rule? To do the right-hand rule means that if we're blocked to the right, we want to just keep moving forward until we're blocked to the front also. In that case, we want to turn to the left. Okay, so this if statement up here, the big if statement that says, as long as we're blocked to the right, we want to keep moving forward unless we're blocked to the front, then we turn left. Otherwise, we're going to turn right and move forward to get us back to the wall. 
Okay. All right. Good luck with that. And uh, we'll see you next time.